It's a one of a kind business in the southern tier celebrating a big anniversary. Today, Mike Randall paid a visit to Valvo's in Silver Creek. She has a winning smile, but mostly people notice her size. That's Dolly Dimples. They found her in Butler, PA. I saw her leaning up against a cliff. She was in disrepair. Since 1972, Dolly Dimples has been greeting customers at Valvo's on Route 5 in Silver Creek. She must have been waiting for Big Boy, but he never showed up, you know. Valvo celebrates their 100th anniversary this year. Joe and Elizabeth ran things for much of that time. Joe was a self-taught candy maker. He made sponge candy. That's the part that was so difficult because sponge candy is difficult to make. They sold wholesale until Elizabeth came up with a good idea. And I said to Joe, why don't we make it into a gift shop? Valvo's became the candy and gift shop that busloads of visitors know it as today. Mostly what people notice here is that the place is huge and it's filled with a lot of stuff. Seriously. Yeah, ha, 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 stumpy. Not many places carry life-size statues of John Wayne. And lots of opportunities for selfies. Right, Frankie? Smile. Mm. Candy and lawn ornaments may seem like an odd combination, but Elizabeth says Joe's idea was to sell concrete statues during Candy's off season. So he started buying concrete and that's what happened. Sadly, Joe passed away last year. So Joe and Elizabeth's daughter, Susan, stepped up to take over. And I was really scared to run the business the first year without him, and I did really well. Susan says her first batch of her dad's handmade candy peach stones was a disaster. They were brown, they tasted horrible. So she tried again. Because I am not a quitter. My mother always says persistence beats resistance. So I said, we're going to do it again, and we're going to figure out our mistakes. And they came out beautiful. Now the family business is in good hands with the fourth and fifth generations ready to take over someday and this big girl isn't going anywhere. She's got five and a half feet of uh, poles in her legs and down in the ground so she won't fall over. Valvo's is easy to find. All you have to do is head to Silver Creek and look for Dolly Dimples. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.